Hello everyone, you're warm welcome to the course of Sophos XCS Firewall. Today we're going to discuss on the tab called Host and Services. So, as you can see here on my screen that I take a basic topology where I have the Windows system and which is my LAN network that is connected uh, via port A and the port B is my WAN interface which is coming connected to the internet and as you can see my windows machine is getting internet and uh, I am on my sofa I have logged into the sofa's firewall and I just click on host and services and here you can able to see there is a sub tab over there that IP host, IP host group, MAC host, FQDN host, FQDN host group, country, country group, services, services group. So let's start with IP host. So in this tab the IP host we have all the dynamic host default host and system host so here you can see there are system host there are IP ranges as well you can just uh, press on edit and you can edit it by yourself you can able to see it's all IP addresses as well so if you want to add any IP address you just click on add and you give the name of IP address for example if we can give host1 okay so here you can able to see this IP version this is asking IPv4 or IPv6 we'll select IPv4 under types so if you select a particular IP address you will select the IP host okay if you want to take a range of IP address so you can select IP range if you have list of IPs that you want to configure it you can do that as well and network as you are aware that if you want to give you a complete LAN network or any other DMZ network so just select the type you can enter the address over here and if you have already the IP host group so the group basically means that for example if you have list of IP address for example 10 host and if you want to create a group for that and you want to add the policy in regards with those particular host you can create a group as well so to create the group we also have the option over here as well and we can directly add the particular host to that group okay and click on save okay but there's some restrictions on IP host as we cannot able to update or delete the system host so for example if the system host that are already been created we cannot able to update or delete that host because those hosts are already created by the Sophos firewall okay and we also cannot able to delete the dynamic host that are automatically added uh, to create the VPNs and all so the dynamic host which is used for VPN as well you can see here the security heartbeats over the VPN IP address so we cannot able to delete it okay it's just as it is because it's given if you want to edit it we can edit it and we can use that as well adding into the policies so this is all about IP host now we go to IP host group so the IP host group as I said that the list of IP if you want to add it to the group and assign the policies to that you can also do it so for example if you want to go to add you can able to see here that what name you want to give so for example lan host or we can say a management group you want to give the description and select the host from here so for example whatever host that you created I've created ho lan host 1 which has already been created by me so if I want to create the lan host 1 and XYZ so I just select the two check boxes I just click on apply selected the those item has been applied and we're going to save it so this is the way the IP host work now MAC address host MAC address host is basically for example if you have any systems in your organization and for example sometimes what happened that uh, your organization is dealing with DHCP server where the IPs are providing uh, to those particular host uh, using DHCP and in that for example if your uh, host is connected to your multiple network types in your own network environment and while uh, the user must facing uh, uh, disconnected or uh, it's not properly connected uh, while you know while changing the network from Wi-Fi or from LAN to Wi-Fi or Wi-Fi to LAN okay so with the help of MAC host we just going to add the particular MAC address of that system and we can add the policy to that and that particular user can able to uh, connect to the internet or throughout our network uh, via whatever uh, medium uh, that particular user is using okay so this is the MAC host if you want to add it 
we just add the MAC address of that particular name and we add the MAC address if we have list of MAC address we can apply that as well and uh, we can add the policy and as simple as it is okay so this is MAC host now FQDN FQDN is all about uh, fully qualified domain name so which means that we can remove we can resolve to multiple IP addresses for example you can see certain websites for example mail.google.com and the basic one is google.com right so which is called FQDN so if the IP address of that domain changes the FQDN will still resolve correctly to the new IP address so for example if the IP address of that particular domain has changed but still the using FQDN we can able to communicate uh, using FQDN host okay so this is all about FQDN we can also I'll show you how to add that so here you can see So as you can see that we have successfully added so to show you that here you can see that the FQDN that I have created of Crickbus so entire subdomains are also been added uh, under that okay so this is how we can create an FQDN host now there is FQDN host group so as I said that if you want to add the list of FQDN host and apply the policy to that particular uh, FQDNs okay so we can able to do that using F FQDN as well now there's a country group so country group means that if you want to add the policy based on the country you can also going to do that so based on that we can also going to create a DOS policy as well uh, based on the attack attacks we are receiving from particular countries as well so you can also add that as well now there's services so the services are basically HTTP HTTPS you can see all the TCP UDP services and those services uh, with the help of that typically uh, used for managing the network services that are either allowed or restricted within the security policies you can see the list of all the default and custom services as well and you can also add the custom services add and delete the existing services as well so here we can see that there are all the list of services that are provided by Sophos and we can edit those we can add the ports as well and uh, we're going to see in the labs uh, regarding the services tab and we can group the list of services to that particular service group and accordingly we can provide access or restricted access to the users okay so this is all about the basics of host and services uh, this is very simple you can also do it by adding all the manual IP host group Mac host FQDN host services now in the next curriculum we're going to see that how we can uh, create a policy and uh, with the help of that we using host and services we're going to take it in use and we're going to create a policy and uh, we're going to configure uh, the lab okay so thanks for watching guys